Hi everyone, welcome to Taddy Brothers. In this video, I wanted to give you guys a quick tip on an issue that I've come across with some clients over the uh, last few months. Um, for some customers, when they get a fifth wheel system and they're just getting our regular RCA cables, they might have some difficulty connecting the two cables. I'll give you an example why, right? So here I have two cables. Imagine this one is coming from the truck and this one is getting threaded through the um, trailer, right? And then they're connecting the wires like this. So they're going to connect the DC power and, well, here we're going to use a coupler to get these things connected, right? <clears throat> they're going to connect them like this. The problem is that as soon as your trailer makes a left turn, right, it's going to break apart. So usually we recommend you guys get a slinky quick disconnect. However, some people don't have that or don't need it or prefer not to use it. And it might be overkill if you have one cable, right? Um, so there's a little trick I can show you guys that, um, well, it was something that I, that I learned uh, in the military. So let me show you guys what we do here. Um, you're going to take the two cables and we're going to make a knot like this. You see? And now we're going to connect the two cables like this and um, the video cable like this. Here, we'll take it in here like that, right? And now what you've done is you created a system that when it gets tighter, it actually keeps it from breaking apart. It actually makes the connection here tighter. Some people might want to get fancy, maybe cover this up with something with electric tape or a bag or whatever, but generally speaking, you're now going to be able to do your trick, your trip without any kind of issues, right? So the parts that we use here is the 50-foot cable. We have some couplers. Usually if you buy a 50, uh, a basic fifth, uh, fifth wheel system, it will come with a coupler for each cable however if you need them we do sell 10 packs on the website but let me also show you another good thing here is that let's just say you threaded the cables and you mistakenly threaded it the wrong way so now you have this issue here right you got males on both sides so again let's take the coupler like this um, well let's tie the knot right that we want to do here like that okay and then we're going to take the coupler on this one here, on this one here, we're going to have the DC female coupler. Connect that here. And now we've got the same solution, right? We're going to tighten it up as best we can, and then we're done. Like that, okay? The one thing I wanted to show you guys, in addition to this, is let's say you got one of our cables without the power upgrade. So this is like an RCA cable. This is the standard cable that comes with a system if you don't uh, choose that power upgrade, okay? So this cable here, let's just say this is the side from the trailer and this is the side from the truck. Um, we're gonna get the RCA coupler that I have here. I'll steal it from this one. And we're gonna do the same thing, right? We're gonna make a knot like this. And we're gonna take these two things like that. We're gonna connect them. And now the tighter it goes, it's not going anywhere, okay? That's the point of this thing. Now, I strongly suggest when you're buying the systems, get the power upgrade, right? The power upgrade, it's, if I remember right, it's $10 on the website, and it sends you a version of the cable that has this DC thing here. So it'll make you having to thread less wires, right? You're only gonna have to thread one wire through the vehicle, it'll make the installation easier, cleaner, and also it allows you to power either the camera or the monitor from one source. By the way, if you want, you could always shave these down if you needed to. Most people don't, but just in case you want to, we have no problem with you guys shaving this little neck down to make it easier for you. So let me go over the SKUs that we talked about here so you have it. The 50-foot cable is the SKU number for that one is 24262. This one is the version with the power upgrade that gives you the DC connector, okay? Then um, we have here some couplers, the RCA couplers. This one here is 5036706. You get like a 10-pack. We have the male version of it, which is 5036705. And then we have the DCs, 
right here, which is 503-6636. There's also a female version if you need it. This was the male version. So I had a couple of different things here that I wanted to show you guys. But basically, that was it. This was the tip I wanted to show you guys. Also, if you guys want the quick disconnect, you could always add it after the fact. Go to the website. It's there. I'll leave a link below um, for that quick disconnect. The blue industrial is the best. You guys are going to be really happy with it. Um, but that's basically it. This is the tying of the two cables like that. And what's nice about it, whenever you're making a turn, it actually tightens the connection. Okay? So easy and quick. Right? We're going to do the same thing here again. I know it's, it's obsessive to show it so many times, but I just want you guys to see how easy it is to do. Okay? Here, we're going to tie the two cables like this. And then we're going to connect the DC and the RCA. And voila, it's a tight connection. Turn left, right, weather, whatever you need, you're not going to lose anything here. All right, I hope this video helped. Uh, if you need anything, feel free to call us at 866-966-5550. If you've already purchased from us, hopefully this will make the installation a little quicker for you. Um, if you're still shopping, go to tattybrothers.com or again, give us a call. It would be an honor to earn your business. From all of us here at Taddy Brothers, thank you for watching and have a great day.